Hello and welcome to a video about the Hololive Wafer Collectible Cards combo kind of things. Still not sure what I'm going to call this video, but today we have in front of us five packs of the Hololive Wafers. Now, these are wafers that also by chance happen to come with a collectible card. Obviously, I just bought these for the wafers. I'm just going to throw the cards away. Uh, no, if, you, if you've watched the channel uh, for long enough, you'll know that I really like myself some collectible cards. Also, I very much like Hololive, so this was a no-brainer when I saw this up for sale. So in this video, we're going to take a look uh, at what cards we can get. There are 37 overall, I think. We'll get into that in a second. We'll have a look at the packaging first, because uh, there are four different packages, and there's a double. And then we'll actually like open them up. Um, so we'll take a quick look. So as I said, there are four things here. I don't recognise all Hololive JP girls, admittedly, because I mean I don't speak fluent Japanese or anything, so I can't really appreciate the streams. But I know of some of them. That's Polka, I believe, the sort of clown girl. That's Hachama, the um, the sheep girl. Can't remember her name. I. I cannot remember her name. Uh, I, I've seen most of these, but I can't remember their names, unfortunately. So that's one of the designs. The other design uh, has more recognisable characters. So we got Mio, Korone, Okayu, and uh, where is... Oh, there's Fubuki. Um, we also have... Uh, oh, sorry, Watame is the sheep. Hachima is that's that girl there. Sakura Miko, I do believe, Sora, right, and Susue. Um, the others I don't really recognise, but I might recognise the names, maybe. Uh, the third one, of course, has Pekora, Rushia, that's slightly awkward, Marine, Subaru, Aqua, um, and again, there's one or two, oh, that's Noel, I think, uh, because that is what friend of the channel, Tom, Pulled yesterday. Uh, shout out to Tom if you're watching. I know you're watching. Um, and also the fourth design then is all of the girls. I'm not going to go through and name them again. But yeah, that's a very nice design. And then as I happen to have a double of the other uh, design there. So on the back, as I mentioned, there are 37, um, 37 cars. Let me just get this on focus. All right, unfortunately the cardboard tray uh, for the wafer is kind of warping this a bit. But as we can see here, there are 30 member cards. Uh, so there's 30 member cards, which is the individual cards of each member. And then there are 7 grupo cards, which is the group cards, where sort of you get all of them. Now in terms of pulls, uh, Karone is definitely my number one pull. Followed by like Okayu and maybe Fubuki. Um, I'd quite like a group card for the gamers generation as well. And you know, overall there's like, there's a lot I'd like to pull, but I wouldn't be sad to pull any of them, really. Um, apart from maybe a double, but if I do pull a double, uh, I will be giving it to the aforementioned friend, Tom of the channel. Good lord, these are packaged well, hang on, uh, BRB. Alright, I think I used a little bit too much force there. Uh, right, so I do believe the card is... Oh, the card is underneath the wafer in the tray. So, um... If I pull, out, pull it out in one, the card is underneath. So, I'm not going to look at it. I'm putting it out of shot. So this is the wafer. It's got, like, um... Vanilla cream in it. I'll go and take a bite of it. I'll, I'll give my honest review. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's uh, this very crunchy, the like cream inside is, um, it's a little bit subtle, but it is kind of vanilla flavour or cream flavour maybe. Um, yeah, not bad. I mean, obviously the wafer is not exactly what I bought this for, but still pretty nice. I will be, I will be finishing that later. And now for the card. Oh, nice. First up, we have, that is really hard to read. Okay, so I can't quite read the text behind there, unfortunately. An Amananamato or something like that. But this is apparently Yuki Hana Lami. Uh, I did have to look that up on my phone. Uh, I used Google Lens because I don't recognise her exactly. But, I mean, maybe maybe I've seen her around. Um, 
And this is the back as well. There's like small cute interview things where it all seems like handwritten. Obviously it's printed handwritten. But this is the profile if anyone does want to like read through it on Google Lens or if you read Japanese. Unfortunately a lot of this is in kanji uh, which I cannot read. But there we go. That is the first card, Yuki Hana. So I'll put her in the back there. Um, Right, on to the next one, and I'm going to be crazy here and use next level technology called a scissors. Uh, this is partly as well because I feel like I don't really want to destroy the pack designs. I'm not going to keep these necessarily, but you know, it's it's nice to see. So, I'm just, I'm not going to pull the wafer out again, it's the same wafer. Uh, but, it is time for the next card. It is... Oh, nice! Okay, so um, this is the same as a uh, friend of the channel, Tom. This is the third shout-out again in the video now, Tom. Uh, this is Noel. Hey, so he pulled it yesterday. Very cute. Uh, so her, the back of her card, I do believe, mentions ASMR a lot and a cow. Because uh, she lives at a cow's pace or something. I don't fully understand. But she does do some ASMR, apparently. I can't say I've ever heard any. I I recognise Noelle, kind of. Again, I haven't watched many of their streams. But very cute. Very nice. Right. On to the third one. Now, a group card would be a great pull. Uh, even if it's not necessarily the gamers generation. I mean, gamers is just what I'm most aware of. I think that's probably true of most people in the West. I mean, Corona and Fubuki and Okayu and Mio probably have the most recognisability. Right, tell you what, I'm, I'm going to build the tension here. This is the... Ooh. Oh, wait, have we pulled a group card? Yo, okay, we have indeed pulled a group card. Hey, so this is not gamers, but... This does have Aqua, Subaru, and um, I can't remember the other group, the other members' names. That is adorable, though. That is a very nice card. And on the back, we have kind of like shots of them, I guess. Um, I know the Hollow Live do anime, which is sort of a minute or two kind of skit episodes using their models and stuff, and and their and their voices, obviously. Yeah, wow, that's a heck of a pull. I'm very pleased with that. That is very cute. Very nice. Right, well, there we are. We we got a group card. That's, uh... Can we end on a high? Can we get a gamer's pull? Come on. It's, uh... Obviously, Corona is, you know... I, I think I speak for everyone here in saying that Corona is best pull. But uh, we're going to do the back thing again. You ready? Okay, it is an individual... Who will it be? <gasps> Yo! Uh, no, <laughs> okay, never mind, sorry. I thought it was Okayu for a second. Uh, this is... Okay, so I just looked this up. This is Botan, apparently. Um, I've heard the name, but, <laughs> but yet again, I have never seen any of her streams. Uh, very, very cute thing, though. I like her outfit. It's kind of... It's kind of streetwear. It's, uh, it's as, as some people would describe it, drip. That is very nice. She's very cute. I do appreciate silver-haired anime girls. Uh, I mean, I appreciate all anime girls, really. Uh, you know, I'm not... I don't judge you. Um, right, our last pull. Will it be... A group card would be cool. A Corona card would be even cooler. Okay, it is... Oh, wait. A second... Uh, that, no, that's not Roboco, is it? No, okay, she's got two, her hair is too long. This is... Okay, I've done some research, and I think that is Roboco. She's changed her hair, though. I think I've only seen her Generation 1 outfit. But, like, the leg things also make sense, because she kind of just had sort of bare legs. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's Robocor. She just looks a little bit different, and she's grown some hair, which I'm happy to hear about. You know, it's uh, she's matured as a robot girl. So, I'm going to clear that up, and we'll take a last look at what I pulled, and then we'll end the video. B R B. All right, I am back. So, uh, I've got to say, we got some pretty darn good pulls, actually. Um, 
In terms of my favourite pull, it's it's definitely this group one, and for some reason I didn't pick it up on camera. It's probably because it's so uh, reflective, but it does actually say the names of all of the members there, which is really cool. So um, while I was struggling to name them, it was actually literally written in English on the card. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how well it's coming across on camera because it is wrapped in plastic. I'm going to keep these wrapped in plastic for now until I put them into a binder or something. But uh, I've got to say, overall, these are pretty cool cards. Now, admittedly, the wafer and card combo was like £2 each, which is about 3 maybe $4. So, I mean, it's not exactly the most cost-effective thing. But, I mean, these are kind of, you know, limited cards. It's the only way you can get these ones. And honestly, I do think they are pretty, like, decent quality. I especially like that on the back there are the little interview things. Now, obviously, I can't really understand them, um, but it's still kind of cool. You know, it's um, there's it, it, it's something for everyone, so long as you're into Hololive and know the Japanese girls and recognise them on site, which really isn't what I did for most of them. Um, right, so that about wraps up the video. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll probably be doing some Hololive stuff in the future. I may have pre-ordered a Hololive English birthday pack or two of some of the girls, so stay tuned for that. And I'll probably be, like, opening other statues and stuff if and when they do come out. Come on, Papa Parade, please launch the Hololive English girls soon. But yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.